Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how you can create a simple animation of a charging phone battery. You know very well that in most phones, when you have plugged in the charger and it is charging, it is showing animation on the screen that the process of charging is going on. And most of the times you will see there is a piece of something moving from left to right backwards like that. And that is a kind of animation I want to show you how you can make it using JavaScript coding. The first thing we want to do is to go to MS Paint. I will just go here to MS Paint and draw a battery. I will just use the square shape like this. And uh, I will go ahead and pick another piece here. Then I will have my eraser and try to delete part of this. Let me just increase the zooming. I will delete this segment which protruded inside. Then I will return my zooming back to 100. I will go ahead and split this into four pieces. Of the same size, press shift to get a straight line. You can use arrow keys to balance the position of the line in case it is not in the middle. And also this can balance it somehow. Now with this I will go ahead and select it. Then crop it. I will save it on the desktop. Create a folder here. And just call it charging. Open the folder and name this graphic as zero. And take note it is type PNG. I will close MS Paint. Now in this folder if I open it, you can see I have one image here. I will go ahead and copy paste this image in the folder and this copy I call it uh, one. I will now open this with MS Paint again and color it black this segment one and I will remove the other lines here with the razor even this one I will go ahead and remove it then I will save this and close paint I will go ahead and copy and paste again and rename this to 2 I will open this with MS Paint and this is file number two. I will paint two segments, one, two, then remove remove this part. Now 
and save the changes. I will copy and paste. I will name it to theory. Open this with paint and paint three segments and save it. I will copy this. I can even copy this number three and paste it. I will name this to four. And uh, open with paint. Have it fully charged. Save changes and close. I will go back to this uh, image zero and remove the lines. So that is the battery is empty without charge so image zero will be showing an em empty battery not fully charged now i will save the changes now you can see I have four images, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now I will go ahead and animate these graphics by starting notepad here. Now while I am in the notepad, I will start my web page by writing html and close it somewhere down here I will go ahead and do my head part then I will do the body parts I will insert a title here and call it just uh, charging or phone charging. And close my title. I will insert my heading here. And uh, right here, animation of charging font and close my H1. Below H1, I will go and insert my image, which is. Uh, 0.png and this image box I will give it an ID and just call it IMG. I will now break the flow from left to right here to bring the, the movement of the item on the web page downwards. Then after that I will also create a blank line and I uh, have a paragraph here which says click the button to start charging process or stop charging. Then I will go ahead 
and put a P. Down below here, I will put a button using input type should be submit. value is start you can have instructions for the javascript here when you click start i will go ahead and make this uh, the second button by just selecting that one like that and changing this to stop and this one should be now called stop I will come here under the title Style my button together with my heading. For heading, I want it color red and for the button, I will just write here submit right here input and I can give it a padding of 10 pixels to make the buttons wider padding is the distance between the label on the button and the border of the button so if I give it 10 pixels I'm widening the buttons to be wider so I will go ahead and save this inside changing and call it battery HTML and click save. Now back to my folder you can see the file is there when I open this file. You can now see I have a title phone charging, an empty battery, a title, and big buttons for start and stop, and a paragraph telling me click the button to start charging process or stop charging. So here we are home and dry. Next is to come and add animation now. The first thing is to come and split these two tags so that I'm able to write my script for the JavaScript. Script is code which is used to do actions on web page. And the first thing is to create a variable. I will just call it t, another variable will just call it count. And initially it will have a value of one. And I will go ahead and write function and pick this stat. And I will go ahead and paste it here. Open curly bracket and close it. Then inside here, I will just write the T set interval. I will just write another function run and it will be running after a thousand milliseconds, which is equivalent to one second. Now I want to define what is run. I will just copy that stuff. Come here and write function. 
to run. And close the brackets. Inside here, I want to do some decision making with if else. Making are done by if. So what I will be doing is to check this count. At first it has a zero. Now since I have here, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five. The last label for the image is four. I want to ensure that the count doesn't pass beyond 4. So I will just come here and say if count less than 4. If it is less than 4, then this should happen. You just take what is in count and you give it back to count after adding a 1 to it. Then Go to the document, get element by ID in, in quotation marks, and this is the ID of the image box I was looking for. Go to that image box and uh, simply go to its source and assign it. Count plus dot png. So it means take a value in the count and attach to it dot png to create the name of the image. That is fine. No problem up to there. Next, in case the value of count is not more than is not less than four it means now it has left three and now it is increasing to four in that case just copy that segment and modify it in that case, we will simply return the count to zero. Because if it is not less than four, it means what is in count is, uh, is four. And now we don't want that four. We will just change it back to zero. Then here it will be shown here. Lastly, I will go and create another button for stop, another function for the button stop. And height function stop. And in this function, the work is to stop the the timer so you just write here clear interval interval of the timer t just like that so i will go ahead and save this then we will come here and refresh our page to pick the changes and then click start you can see now the battery is charging and this is the animation you normally see on your phones when it is charging. Here the work is done by switching the pictures using JavaScript code. You can even stop it anywhere and when I click start it continues where it is left. Go ahead, try this at home and see you next time. Bye-bye.